I'm Brian John Pickering. We're 102, 103 Rowie of Norwich Market. We sell sausages. We make about 30 different types, recipes. We've pinched off people all around the world. And I suppose we sell 1,000, 1,500 pounds of sausages a week. We do all our own dry curd bacon. Actually, the recipe I got from my grandmother. I can't say I haven't missed it about, but it is basically her recipe. And uh, we like to make a few old-fashioned things like pork cheese and uh, faggots or savoury ducks, whichever you like to call them, uh, pork drip and, and all the things that you can't buy now. I try to have a full traceability of all meats that we sell, which means they're all local. My whole day revolves round thinking about meat actually I know it sounds pretty pathetic but um, especially at the moment with the weather changing and the barbecue season this is an exciting time of the year when people forget all about being a little bit conservative in the way that they eat most people will try things I am obsessed basically going back about 20 or 30 years the first time I went to Germany and I saw how the butcher shops were how they made their sausages with no additives no rusk it was just meat and spices and I've always been obsessed with how spices work I remember once went to Holland and saw all the meat products it was just like walking into a cake shop but it was meat and I was hooked Years ago we made a, uh, a Greek sausage for a Greek wedding and we've made that ever since um, and I think that's wh wh where these things are, I mean it is the ideas and the, and the spice mixes that are all over the world that you need to do and I love it, I, there's no other word for it. Sometimes you'll find something out and, and I can hardly sleep, I'm so excited for the next day to come to have a try and then most, most of the time it's a flop but I've... I've <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed making the flop. <laughs> this must be one of the most amazing markets in the country. Um, I ain't saying it is perfect, not yet. I know there's still stalls that need to be filled. You walk up Exchange Street and you see the market with the Forum and St Peter Mancross and the Town Hall at the back of it. You tell me any other town in the country that's got that.